better not, traitor. Hello everyone, welcome once again to the Month of Independence. Today on the agenda is one that was actually recommended to me, Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. It seems to have drawn inspiration from Paper Mario, which is always good. I haven't played much of Paper Mario, but I have played some of it, and I thought it was pretty good. I should probably go back to that one of these days. Or better yet, the Thousand Year Door. Apparently that one's really good. I have not played it, but I have heard good things about it. And I think I might have seen bits and pieces of it here and there, too. But either way, that's neither here nor there. Right now, it's time for Bug Fables. Ah, the land of Bugaria. A peaceful, prosperous place where many adventurous bugs gather. Although, it wasn't always that way. I'm going to evolve my voice as I read this. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Together with her daughters and fellow ant servants, she established Bulgaria's modest first settlement. Her people were happy, the ant kingdom flourished, and yet the queen's dream had not yet been fulfilled. For she had heard of an ancient people who safeguarded a treasure of unbelievable power. It was none other than... The Everlasting Sapling, a plant which would grant unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. She searched and searched and searched. Alas, she never found it. She had trusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard-earned sleep. Okay. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people together with her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers. Her decree was loud and clear. Find me the everlasting sapling and you shall know wealth like no other bug ever has. With this, the Explorers' Association was founded, with its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasure. Even though to this day the sapling has not been found, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. How fascinating. I can't even tell if this is supposed to be the good side or the bad side. Or at least, those were the stories I was told in my land. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of your people helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they are not mere legends, but real history. This Explorers Association and all the explorers who risk their wings for glory are proof of that. Then, Sir Maki, would you consider my earlier offer? Kabu, I respect your passion, but I take mi missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Unproven? Maki, I've bested many hardships in the north. Or so you say. Your knowledge of our culture and your passion for exploring are as true as my blade's edge, Kabu. But I would ask you not to press the issue. This is not the place to cause a scene. Urgh. What? Can't you say that again? As I said, we cannot allow children to explore. Much less snake mouth den. I'm not a kid. So much for that. Would you accompany me, Kabu? It is my duty to investigate. Mm, well, if you insist. Use the arrow keys to move. Okay. No problem. Etel. B. Lower your voices. What is the matter? This guy's calling me a kid. Says I can't explore. Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you child. Shut it. I, it's not about age. It's about skill. I'm V, the best explorer the hive has ever seen. I'm not some random bee. An explorer bee? Yeah, got a problem? Saying bees can't explore? Expected honey and paint? I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I can't just give a permit to some bee, much less without a partner. Teams should be a duo of explorers, you know? I'm worth like four bees, okay? The bee's gonna join my team. Hey, V! What do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet lack a companion. What, do I look that desperate? I don't even know you. I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, it can't be worse than having to stay put. Deal. Wait, you two are just crazy. 
You won't last a second at Snake Mouth. I'll prove you wrong. No. You are both, most likely, mere novices ruled by your strong emotions. I have no doubt that if you left today, you would return inside a bag. Sir Maki, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Hmm, very well. I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you king of this joint? The Ant Queen herself, for she has knighted me as a royal blade. I accept your challenge. V, get ready. Watch your own horn. I was born ready. I guess it's time to learn the RPG system. V, our opponent is no amateur. Would you like us to review some combat tips? Sure. Hit me up. Maybe I'll even learn something. Listen there. We can both perform one action per round, be it attacking, using an item, etc. We can power up our attacks by performing commands unique to each move. Watch this. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Okay, not too bad. Holding a button. Lame, look at this. If I press C at the right time, I can power up my beamerang. A beamerang? We're doing great. Don't let your guard down, V. After our turn ends, the enemy's next. I know, and if I press C at the right time... Pressing C a bit before an enemy hits you reduces damage received. With perfect timing, you'll reduce even more damage. This is definitely based off of Paper Mario. Although it's also like South Park and the Stick of Truth, which was also based off of Paper Mario. Ow, what the heck? You trying to kill us or something? Hm. You can't handle that much. You should surrender. Go home and guard Honey with your silly toy. Toy? Ah, now I'm mad. We should pay it back tenfold. It's time for us to use a skill. They're just like attacks, but you select them from the yellow flower. Skills require us to use our teamwork points, though. So watch out for how many we have left. You should patch your wounds, too, using items from the blue flower. Talk in between commands using these. Very well. Consume. Okay, skill. Yo, what up? Darn. Darn. Oops. <laughs> Not too shabby. Okay, that's how you do it. So such skill with the blade. You pass. What? You performed well enough. I can feel your desire to see the world through your attacks. I am no one to keep you from your explorer permit. Etel, you may grant it to them. I get no say in this, huh? But Maki is the queen is the king, queen's blade. Here you can have it. You got the explorer permit. I did it. Snake Mouth Den is going to be all mine. All the riches, all the glory. Snake Mouth Den, it lies to the west of the association. A simple path, although filled with danger. There is much treasure to be found, but its jaws have claimed many. Treasure, huh? My key! Seriously, brother, how long are you going to keep me waiting? My apologies, Kino. V, Kabu, I must be going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you succeed in your mission. What a weird bunch. He ended up causing quite the scene himself. That fighting prowess. How many years must he have trained? So, uh, I'm V, I guess. From the hive near the big tree. Oh, I'm Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago from the north. Cool. Indeed. Um, uh, Sir Maki said Snake Mouth was to the west, right? We should get moving. Right, yeah, let's go right away. Don't fall behind, okay? Hey, wait, you two. Something wrong? You know what the goal of the Snake Mouth expedition is, right? Of course. Alright, I hope you can find the ancient artifact the Queen is after. Good luck out there. Thank you. Thank you. We will be back soon, I promise. Chapter 1. A Dysfunctional Trio. Trio? Someone else is going to join, huh? Neat. Change the party leader by pressing Z. You can check your inventory, stats, and other things by pressing Escape. Ah, this guy should be the leader. No offense, B. But this guy seems like he has it more together than you. You're very passionate, but that's not what the leader is all about. Heave ho, heave ho. Oof. I should have gone to the city soon earlier. Now I have to wait till this mess is cleared. 
I understand my wife is upset, but there's nothing we can do until the rocks are cleared. Ugh, these rocks are getting in the way of trade routes. If this isn't cleared soon, we will lose money. Get on with it, ants. This should, have, should never even happen. Last night's rain was really heavy. We are very busy cleaning up the paths. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, then. I guess that's to corral you into one spot. Hey, why are you hitting that crystal? You could break it, you know? Huh? You really don't know? Just tell us why. Forgive my partner, Cilia. Her mouth is most loose. This is an ancient crystal, correct? They're unique to this land. Correct. They can store the record of previous travelers if you smack them with something. This crystal is yellow, so it will even heal your wounds. Expect me to believe that? All that awesome stuff for hitting a rock? <laughs> you're one of little faith. Come on, Levy, let's show him. Now let's go ahead and save. Save complete. It is done. Whoa, it really works. This must sell for a fortune. All you'll get for this crystal is prison time. Only the Ant Queen can authorize placing these rocks in public spaces. And that's the game's explanation for them not being in more places. Even if you find one in the wild, they're too heavy to be carried by a single bug. There goes that idea. Still, their properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can, V. Yeah, sure, let's get a move on. Best of luck. Best of luck. That's neat. Well, this is the only path that's available to me, and it is to the west. West, Snake Mouth Way. Cool. Hello. The path ahead leads to Snake, snake Mouth Den. Currently only licensed exploration teams can pass. Do you have a permit? Yes. Mm, all right, this checks out. I'll open up the gate. Safe travels, explorers. Okay, let's try not to die. Although, this isn't that kind of game. I'm sure we'll be fine. Very nice. I just have to master this. Cool. Sweet. Didn't even get attacked back. How simple could this be? What's this? A berry of some kind. Nifty. This will surely come in handy. Surely. Possibly. Oh, okay. Well then. That was... Most fascinating? Hmm. Perhaps if I make use of this rock, of course, you can jump above it. Let's go ahead and attack this guy. What the? Why is it grayed out? I can't attack? That's weird. Making them focus on attacking Kabu for this turn. Hmm. Well, he is the tougher one. I can attack, weirdly. You got six exploration points. Ah, come on. Okay. Freaking berry falling into the water like that. Eh, I guess it's fine, still. Hey, like attacking up close, annoyed when an enemy is out of reach? Ask a friend who can fly or toss something to bring it down. Press Z to switch positions in battle and attack. You're a bee, why can't you fly? Fine. Jump. Jump right into him. It seems he can't attack for more than once. Or maybe he just can't attack at the beginning for some reason. I can't figure that out. There we go. No problem. Time for the slam down. Even more exploration points. We're gonna get all the points. And then party. Party like rock stars. Well, RPGs are all about... Oh. This might be trouble. This might be a lot of trouble. 
bad I can't do it to both. Oh, okay. I did not notice that. Oops. Well, at least that works. Darn. Did it too soon. Very well. Wait, no. Cancel. No problem. Now one of them is down for the count at least. Ah, okay, I didn't have to do it right away. Jeez. That guy's not looking too good. My first guy. Maybe I should leave and heal up and then come back. I mean, it's not like I have to run at every en enemy, of course. However... What the? Oh. New area. Neat. There doesn't appear to be any save points, so I should probably go on ahead and head back. Where are you going? Snake Mouth is to the northwest. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Um, you were leading. And we need to heal up. Man. Do you want to die? Evidently, yes. You are probably friendly. Excuse me, bug of all good... Um, excuse me, bug of all complexion. Is everything all right? Hey, Kaba, we're supposed to be adventuring. Snake Mouth Den, Endless Riches? Sorry, V, I cannot ignore an old bug in distress. First of all, name's Chuck. And I bet I'm younger than both of you. But if you've got to know... I'm almost done arranging my cozy rest space for travelers going to Snake Mouth Den. I just can't pull out this darn weed. You call this cozy? Chuck, Snake Mouth Den is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. Shouldn't you be warning travelers? Look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling, at least not for free. Hm, watch this, V. If I press X near small bushes or rocks... <laughs> Oh, nice. Something like this is no match for my horn. Oh, Bree, you actually helped me. This made my week. You got a reward ready, right? But V, helping others is already its own reward. And you didn't do and you didn't do anything. It's really, really not. <laughs> no worries. Helpful bugs deserve gratitude. I ain't got much, but please take this. You got ten berries. Berries, so many berries. Use them to buy something nice later, alright? Thank you, we surely will. We'll be going now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. If you need something that can be interact with the horn, an exclamation mark will appear over the party leader's head. So, um, can I actually use this for resting or not? Okay, fair enough. But I'm a little low on health right now. Shouldn't we be finding some way to recover? Okay, then, I guess we don't care about healing. Because, you know, forget that. Inventory, no items of any kind. Wonderful. Uh-oh. Lovely. Don't know what I thought that would do. What the? How come I can't my target. Whatever. I guess I may as well attack both for one target. Well, at least you're no longer attacking him solely. That would suck. Switch order. Actually, I probably should have switched order to begin with. Do nothing. Hmm. How about some of this? I actually managed to block all damage there. Crazy. More, even more exploration points. That's always good. Of course, healing would be even better, I'm just saying. Or I'll just get berries that works too, I guess. Whatever. Maybe there'll be a save point before too long. Want to know more about the enemies you're fighting? Don't forget you can spy using the strategies menu during battle. That you probably can. Oh, that's neat. Oh, 
Time to cut everything. Too bad I can't preemptively attack using that. That would be great. This is probably a bad idea. Strike that. I'm pretty confident this is a bad idea. There you go, buddy boy. Okay, that was well-timed. Far better timed than usual. Do nothing. Because apparently you cannot attack two turns at once. Well, at least you've been knocked from the sky. Okay, not looking too good. Should probably do something about that. You know, before we go into battle again, unless we just want to have him get knocked out. I mean, this is nice and all, but, you know... Maybe I should switch order. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Ooh, a crunchy leaf. <laughs> wow, what do you know? Exactly when I needed it. How about the one who's about to completely go out? Oh, there's a save point. That's good. This is it, Snake Mouth Dirt. It doesn't look that scary, you know? According to rumors I have heard, it is the grave of a thousand explorers. Having ended countless journeys, many a song have been written about its dangers. F for real? Its interior must be absolutely riddled with monsters and death traps. We must be extremely cautious. Jeez, way to sell to me, Kabu. But the higher the danger, the better, better the treasure. Hmm, it's true that the artifact is likely to be inside, but a simple rich is worth such a risk to you. Stop trying to scare me off. Let's get in there. I must make sure she stays safe. Yeah, probably. Well, good luck with that. This bee is nuts. You better believe that. I believe this is too early in the journey to start being dorky with the puns. At least there's a save point, so that's nice. Evidently there's a death trap in here. There's much more there's much more light here. This room must be quite near the cracked ceiling. What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Uh-huh. Hey Kabu, do you really have to comment on every small thing? Hi. I'm sorry. Hey, don't look so sad. Uh how about this? If I want to know more about where we are or about something or someone near us, I'll just tap enter. Sound good? Very well. I'll make sure to have information on hand at hand for you when you do. Cool, now let's keep moving. Okay, that cannot be cut. That's good. Ooh! Whoa! I can attack them in the overworld. Maybe that helps. I mean, I don't know for sure, but... Can't hurt, right? That's right, get smacked. Oh! Oh, is it because I attacked? I got two turns? That is awesome! Seriously. I need to take advantage of that. Freaking sweet, man. Some enemies have defense, which reduces the power of your attacks. Sure, porns ignore such defense. It can even flip certain enemies, negating defense entirely. Neat. Is that what just happened? Because I like it. And I want to take advantage of it. The bridge seems to be out. How are we going to cross? Well, that's it. Game over. Let's go back. Wait, V. Hold on. It's too soon to give up. There must be a way. Duh, I was kidding, you know? Look over there. It's one of those ancient switches. We just need to hit it. You can just fly over to it, right? That's too much effort. I've got a better plan. My mighty beamerang. I just need to get in front of with Z and press X to throw it. I will trust you with this then. Give it your best shot. You lazy freaking B. Just saying. <laughs> a little bit of a shocker, huh? Well done, Fee. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Um, yeah, of course. Just as planned. Let's continue. I'm glad to have a reliable partner. Super reliable. This is cute. This is a cute game. I should go come back to it someday. Maybe sooner rather than later. Darn. I was hoping. Oh, crap. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh well. 
some of this action. Let's just suck on this one. Excellent. Finish him off. Or not. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Please finish them off. That would be nice. What the? You got an aphid egg. An egg from a happily raised aphid. Make sure to eat it before it hatches. Raises three HP to an ally. Neat. You call this the death of adventurers? The thousand bodies? I think it was exaggerated just a little bit. Leave this place, for beyond this point lies great danger. We have already lost one of ours to this wretched place. Curses, this coziness was an illusion. Our path won't be easy, that much is for sure. No place full of treasure's ever been safe. So many have fallen looking for riches. Let's find the treasure quickly so no one else ventures in here. I will do this for them. I'm definitely not doing this for myself. No, I'm telling myself I'm doing this for them. That's how I cope. Knowing that I'm putting myself in mortal danger like that. Dead gimmick. Darn. That was poorly timed on my part. For sure. I get it now. It's because it's flying. Can't very well attack something that's in the air now, can we? Darn. I really need to quit missing my timing. Well, at least I have this, so that's good. Once I knock you down to the ground, then you won't be so airborne. Crap. I could have sworn I did that right. Evidently not. That's right. Stay down, you freaking thing. You got a honey drop. Honey re re produced in the bee kingdom makes you happy, but also fat restores 5 TP. Okay, then. That's, uh, lovely. Whoa, what's over here? Hello, what's all this, then? Crap. Maybe I gotta shoot it with something. Or maybe not. Oh, I see. That makes more sense. What does this do? Huh. Look at that. What am I supposed to do with this? What do I get the feeling that I have to get it in there? Just right, like so. That makes sense. I just gotta push the other one in there. Not jump over it, but just push it in there. That's nice. That's super nice. Super hot. Super hot. A mushroom. What? We did all this for that? Seriously, it wasn't even a rare item. Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom. Who designed this place? I will sting them in the face. I'll tear the place down. Come on, V. Unfortunate as it may be, let's pick it up and start looking again. You found a mushroom. Restores 3 HP to an ally and cures poison. Uh-oh. Huh? What? It's a trap! That's lovely. Phew, that was close. Ugh! Kabu, are you okay? I guess he is. Hmm. This is the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look of that place. You just gonna abandon him? But I'm his reliable teammate. I'm going to regret this. You better not, traitor. What? Okay, then. Lovely. At least there's a save point here. No rush, I can wait. Ugh. I'm lucky this mushroom bro broke my fall. I would have carried you, but you seem really heavy. I assure you, I'm lighter than I seem. Uh-huh. Anyways, this place is really creepy. I must agree, and there doesn't seem to be a way back up for me. We will have to look around. Let's be careful, okay? You're almost a goner. Yeah. Unfortunately, what's really a goner is my time. I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the bee's knees. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.